Here we are, mate. Here we are. On the Canterbury Plains. With a Mac Superliner. Does, it, does life get any better? On a sunny, hot, sunny Canterbury uh, Plains. Windy. Uh, yeah, and windy. Windy. Windy we're, afternoon. Yeah, the owner been. of this magnificent beast, as many of you will probably already know, is none other than Mark Aimer. Magpie. He's right here with us, Mark Aimer. There you go, boys. Thank you so hey. much, mate. We can't you. thank you enough for offering the. Uh, Have you long for a ride? Yeah, yeah, the Superliner for a uh, for a test. And um, so, do you want to uh, just tell us a bit, a bit of like it's who had it first, its origins, yeah, it's where it came from? Built new for Makatee contractors in Tapuki. So it was a tip truck and trailer, but it was yeah, I shortened it. Uh, second to last V8 Superliner built in New Zealand, which would probably be possibly in the world. Yeah. We we're the last ones to build them. Yeah. It's so originally a 525 horsepower. Yeah. There's yeah. not many of those. Yep. Yeah. No, 18 speed and 44,000 pound diffs. 18 speed and 44,000 pound diffs. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. And for you, it's a. Uh... Uh, it's a shed ornament, really. <laughs> 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 I just get it out every now and then, but I don't have a lot of time, so it's just uh, oh, it's a bit of a hobby, really, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And there's, have you spent a lot of, uh, we don't have to tell us any figures, in fact, don't tell us any figures, but like, have you done a lot of work on the truck yourself to get it into yep. the state it's in now? Yeah, yep. it was it was pretty rough when I got it. I haven't yep. painted the cab, the cab's the original colour I came with. Yeah. Me and my brother did quite a bit of work on it, painted yep. the chassis and hubs, so I was able to shorten it up, put twin stacks on it. Yeah. Just giving it a bit of love, really. New fuel tanks made for it. And yeah. Got a matching semi for it from the same era. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, that all matches. Go on truck runs and do fun yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, we do a lot of uh, classic truck runs and support the charities and stuff. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. So, Fantastic. what, um, like, but the Superliner for you, I mean, you you know, you've got the Tridents, you know, you've, you've had two of those, you're on to your second one now. We did the road test on yeah. that one and that sort of thing. Always um, one day in a Superliner. Yeah. Unfortunately, I wasn't owning trucks when they were new, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Managed to get this one, so. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty hard to get now. I'm pretty lucky to have it, really. Exactly, yeah. that's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, an appreciating asset. Yeah. Yep. yep. There's not many. Well, there's not too many trucks out there that can uh, claim that. Uh, no, the other one I own doesn't. It's a depreciating asset. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but, I made, but I made some money to pay for this one. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. They go hand in Absolutely. hand. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. This is your boat or your Harley Davidson. Yeah. You take yeah. your shopping on the weekends and you park on the loading zone outside the shopping mall. Don't have to look for a park. Magnificent. Yeah. Bloody awesome, mate. You don't get, you don't get many groceries. I was going to say, probably keeps your groceries to a tight budget too. Yeah. 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 But. Um, so you hinted that when it was 525 when it was new. Yeah. Are we saying it's not 525 anymore? It's a wee bit more than that, yeah. It's probably up around. It's a wee bit, it's a wee bit more than yeah. a wee bit. Probably yeah. close to 600 and 525. Yeah. 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 It goes pretty good, like, it goes as good as my Tron. Yeah. Better sometimes. Yeah. yeah. The same way. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it makes because the right you, noises. You may have mentioned when we're doing the road test on the second Trident, yeah. when you're waiting for that, you are actually driving this one yeah, full I time. Yeah, I used this for a month with a bee yeah. train, a hide, doing logs. And yep. Did 14,000 k's in a month, so we're yeah. really hard out. So what was it, what was that month like for you? Am I allowed to swear? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was You're very hot. It was very hot because it was really? the middle of summer. But apart from that, it was I had a ball. Yeah. yeah. I was deaf by the end of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. I had a ball and like it just draws attention everywhere it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's exactly. like a classic car, really. You know? Yeah, yeah. And to drive it, it's probably if you drive a new Mustang, it's like driving a new Mac. This is like driving a, like a '68 Mustang compared to it, you know. Yeah, so to a new it's got rattles yeah. and bangs and squeaks and yeah, but it's got character. It's yeah. got character, right? That's yeah. exactly yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, so have we really? Oh, oh rattles yeah, rattles and bangs yeah. and squeaks. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Rattles oh, and squeaks. I'm an yeah. '80s relic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, excellent. Well, thanks anyway, again, thank man. Thank you so much, guys. Magnificent. Yep. Bloody brilliant. And yeah, we'll take her out and see what she's all about and. Yep. A little reminiscing. Yeah, okay. Um, so, Dave, we find ourselves in the um, the cab of the Superliner here. What do you say about a man that gives his Mac Superliner for the day to do a retro test? Hey. Hey. Hey, what a man. Oh, I tell you. Tell you. I'm it's... glad you haven't got BO, Carl. Yeah, yeah, no, it's likewise, mate. Well, I made sure I had a shower this morning, but um, I'm just sitting here at the moment. It's, it's reminiscent of the, you know, the, the Superliner stance is reminiscent of the um, sort of TK Bedford stance. Is that sort of like, you know, there's. I know, you know, in America it's all about low riding your Peterbilt and all that sort of carry on, but you know, back in the day here in New Zealand with a Superliner, it was all about getting the seat up as high as you could get it so your head touched the ceiling. Always amazed me with the MHs when the FR was gone and the Ultraliner came out, the first thing everyone did is set up the steering wheel and seat so it was an FR. <laughs> <laughs> Big flat plate. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So Ultraliner was one of the first trucks you could kick the steering wheel back and yeah, yeah, sit yeah. down and 
Yeah, but no, this is the R model cab pretty much. One cab fits all. Yeah, again. Yeah, yeah this yeah, time's yeah, behind same. the most enormous bonnet probably ever made. A magnificent view, isn't it? It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a view that you would never get sick and tired of. Nice yeah. wraparound dash. Yeah. Really, oh, very functional truck to use. Like They're always great to use because everything was just a touch away, even the bloody window winder on the passenger door. On the passenger, yeah, yeah, on the passenger side. Yeah, and sitting here, I mean, you know, you feel right at home and you know you're in an American truck when you come across the Signal Stat 900 Sig Flare indicator switch. Of course, with manual return. And built-in hazard light. Yes, that's right. Look at that. Exactly. And disengage. How, uh, how stuff works, you know? How, yeah, not, like, uh, what, what's wrong with that? Like, and I, I, could, don't know. I bet my bottom dollar that one's been there since the day the truck was built. Probably. That'll be its original. Probably. Yeah, it probably so, hasn't got five sensors when they blow the whole truck stops. Okay, um... Storage. So if you're doing five nights away from home a week, how's the storage? <laughs> well, you got... Oh, hang on, we've got this thing in the back. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We've got, got the stretchy for the coat oh, yeah. bottle and yeah. the rations. Yeah, you get a pair of shorts and undies in there, yeah. that's all you need. And a few of the boys made up a nice plywood yeah. box there oh, with, a secret, with a oh, secret right. stash of, um... Secrets. Yeah, books of secrets. Yeah. And um, how's the glove box over there? Yeah, the glove box is uh, fuse box, really. Oh, right. Okay, that's right. Yeah. So, no, well, you, 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 could, you weren't allowed to be a hoarder. That's right. Yeah. You couldn't be a hoarder in a truck. There's work to done to get on with. Exactly. Just go and do the job. You don't need to get carrying around with you. Yeah. When the R model cab was actually developed, they, they thought about things a little, even back then, you know. I mean, there was that, you know, there wasn't the big flat sort of pieces of glass that, like you came across in the old K-dubs, it was, you know, they gave it a little bit of, a little bit of uh, the fluted sides, the sort of rounded glass and so on, but that sort of matched the dashboard line and the, the centre console, and as you say, everything's within easy, easy reach. You so know. you got the good 1990 lunch on the dashboard there, mate? Yeah, look, mate, we've got the, the rations on hand. Yeah, we'll share those later on. We'll share those later on. But no, I mean... The great thing about them is if you're busy driving, I can work some of the switches. You just tell me which ones to work. Yeah, exactly. And exactly. I'll, uh, I can engage some of the functions. You could. We'd both fight for the Jakes. Yes, that's right, Dynatard. It's a Dynatard, yes. But you, you know what we mean. Because we're probably about the same reach there. Yeah, I'll just have them on all the time. I'll have them on all the time, exactly. It's probably the best way to drive it. I must admit, the, uh, I always loved the bloody the max engine stop. The big, the big bloody... Uh, you know, the big red knob. The big red knob, mate. That was the way to stop the Mac. You know, none of this turning off the key and it all happens via a solenoid. It's mechanical. Just like the truck. It's all mechanical. The Mac cab is a place of beauty. It's one of those things, lots of happy memories, lots of, lots of miles. Sitting in the passenger seat of one of these as well. Lots of honest. good godfather moments as well. Oh, mate, yeah, yeah. Lots of tuition, lots of learning how it was done. So last time we made a bit of a rod for our own back while doing the whole retro dress thing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Got so a fair bit of feedback over that. We did. Yeah. We did, but, um, you know, I mean, it's one of those things that um, we've set a trend. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I, th I think it's time to adorn the appropriate my, period PPE. My daughters were impressed. They were like, Dad was so proud of you when you dressed like that and exactly. put yourself on the internet. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my sons were exactly the same, mate. So the million dollar question, mm. have you brought yourself some, have you brought some appropriate... Uh, PPE? PPE. Absolutely. 1989, 1990s truck driving attire yes. with you for today's excursion? Oh, absolutely, mate. You'll be proud. Yeah? yeah, 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 yeah. What do you reckon? Should we go and down the, down the good uniform? I think we should go get the good uniform on, and I think we should uh, get out on the road and see what the old girl can do. Right, eh? Let's go. Looking sharp, Carl, looking sharp. That's very late 80s, early 90s, Look, mate. mate. That's I right. know. The, bloody, the good, uh, the good wind shirt yep. from Dalgetty's. Yep. Dalgetty's, Dalgetty's NRM. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I see exactly. you sporting the, uh, the good stretchy Canterbury's, mate. Yeah, Canterbury's and Canterbury. Look at that. I what? must admit, I feel a lot more comfortable in the uh, late 80s, early 90s uh, garb than I did in the TK bit. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a, this is a, a little more manly. I, 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 I've decided I'd go with the bloody... Uh, yeah. The male version of the Daisy Dukes. Definitely the Trevor Masters look. It is. Yeah, yes. yeah the shortcut yeah. Uh, denim shorts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what, yeah. 
Mate, and, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm envious of you though, I, you know, with this buddy um, hot northwester that we're facing the Canterbury Plains here at the moment. You know, I'm sort of regretting the old gussies, mate. Yeah, that's right. I've got yeah, the you, traditional work boot on. Yeah, exactly, yeah. mate. You've done Count well Count the there. toes, they're all still there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. can't wear Take gusset it. boots now. You roll on something and strain your ankle, evidently. Rolled up sleeves was very important. Yeah, rolled, never, never have the sleeves. Never have no. the sleeves down. And the... And the Winnie 25s. Yeah, the Winnie 25s. Every yeah, time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Every time. I'm not sure what's happened to tan lines in the last 25 years. Got a bit of a, a, bit of a, a, bit of a pedestrian crossing stripe there. Yeah, mate. Yeah, and yeah. The, old, the, old, the old cankles, are buddy, um, they're, they're a little bit wide as well, mate. Yeah. So I think you need to buddy, support those safety boots a little longer. Yeah. So, and, uh, uh, the buddy, um, back in those days when you made a transaction, you actually used money. I've actually got some of that. Have you? Yeah. Look at that, you have too. Heads or tails for who's behind the wheel. Go for your heads, mate. Go for the queen every time, you reckon? Yep. Oh, Damn. look at that. It's me. Damn. Listening to Haraki on the way? Listening to, <laughs> Listening to Haraki on the way, mate. Guarantee it. Good What's gold. that on the ground, mate? <laughs> Jeez, mate. I think it's alive. <laughs> on that. So Dave, I reckon mate, I think it's time then to put you behind the wheel, see if you can pull off the John Kelly. I'll wheel it in here. You can get behind the wheel and see if you can give it a go. So it has to be done Carl. It does mate, it does. We have to make an amateur's attempt at the great V8 Mac Mini Me takeoff. Yeah, on that the... we've watched to death on YouTube while we've got the opportunity and we're in a blue Max Eva liner. Exactly. What do you mate. reckon? Yeah, See how yeah. we go? If, if John Kelly can do it and oh, Mini Me. We'll never match that. Well, we'll hey, give it our best shot, Live mate. the dream, I say. Live the dream. <laughs> Point of north, mate. Let's give it a go. Mate. 
doing you proud, John. Here we are, retro test number three. What a, yeah. I'll say doozy because they're all fantastic, but oh my goodness, 
What a thrill that was. Something a bit special for the first American anyway. Oh, 2020. What, uh, that's the start, start of 2020. There you go. Look out, we're on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, huge thanks to uh, one Mark Haver for letting us uh, yep. use his uh, pride and joy. And, uh, and uh, thanks very much too to Austin's Transport for supplying the load. Yeah, that's right, 20 right. tonne of uh, in the, in the spirit. Yeah. Good on you, men. Exactly, that's what it's all about. That's We really appreciate it. And um, as we said before, you know, if anyone's got any suggestions, bring them on. We're all ears, we're all listening. Right, and, um, yeah. So, competition to wind up the day, big fella. Oh. Who does the best air start? Oh. Okay. You want to go first or second? No, nah, I'll go second. You go first, mate. All right, you ready? I'll give you a head start. Count me in from three. Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Beat that. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, a, was no, it, I was think that a gardener, mate? Yeah, 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 sort yeah, of yeah. Yeah, all right. Awesome. Take care, people. We'll see you next time. Okay, hang on, mate. Back. Come, come back here. What? We forgot to say something about the old air start, eh? The bloody frosty mornings. Frosty mornings and air starts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Didn't go well together. No, no. So, I just want to try, you know, that one. A frosty morning air yeah, start? Yeah, because they sounded you a bit more... You can't do an engine so you're going to run out of air. <laughs> so, yeah, it's they pathetic. sounded a little more like... Didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. But then us straight after that come up. Yeah. <laughs> so get, get Isaac to yeah. chop that as soon as I say. <laughs> yeah.